That music is really loud. I was getting into it. I wanted to sit there and listen to it. Uh, welcome, everybody, to Assassin's Creed Odyssey Part 3. We finally got off of Tutorial Island in our last episode, and now... Now, it is time to explore the greater Grecian universe. And I hope that you'll come along with me for the ride. Thank you for your patience. Sorry that I'm starting so late today. I had a late night working on my next video. I'm doing a lot um, along with me for the ride. I'm doing a lot of high tech stuff with the next video. Like I'm, I'm cracking out my old copy of After Effects and uh, brushing up on all of my animation skills that I haven't used since my old World of Warcraft machinima days. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, well underway. I got a lot done last night, and I hope to get it done in time for the weekend. That is the plan. All right, it's good to see Roman and Sarah on Facebook today. Let's uh, see if they have me live on YouTube yet. They do, but they've got the wrong thumbnail. Hold on a second. Got to fix that. There we go. Got the right thumbnail going, so that should uh, that should be fixed. Let's uh, get the chat out here and put it side by side with the Facebook chat so that I can see all of you beautiful people and your beautiful comments. Good to see all of the regulars and members and Patreon subscribers on YouTube today and mods, of course. Brian Sanchez, Alt Grindle, Sarah R, Spencer Slavin, Christopher Lowe, Barry LeCount, Julian Z. Antonio, Jocelyn, Ryan, Courtney, Zayas, Michael Muskie, Sean Fornango, No Name, John DeGM Berardino, Quinn Tyus. Alt Grendel says, Hey Ox, check your thumbnail. I think it's wrong. Yeah, I, ca I, I managed to catch that just as I was pulling up the chat. And I got it swapped out, so the thumbnail should be right now. Thank you for that one, Alt Grendel. Uh, Christina says, Ox, looking rather dashing today. I missed you. Well, I, I missed you as well. I missed all of you, and I'm so glad you guys are back to watch me play more Assassin's Creed. Jason Whitaker says, Oh man, I haven't made a live stream in months. So glad to be here with everybody. Hope you're doing well, Ox and all. Happy birthday to everyone. Well, I mean, I suppose somewhere somebody's having a birthday today. There are probably thousands of birthdays being celebrated today all over the planet. So happy birthday to everyone celebrating their birthdays. And the Unknown Planet says, I wanted to put my watch on my belt, but I realized it was a waste of time. Oxhorn, here's a dad joke. Oh, I, I got it. I got to the dad joke first. Thank you think a waste of time really uh all right i sorry i'm having to process that one it's just uh thank you for that one the unknown planet <laughs> um rodney iron well rodney at least says hey oxhorn quick curiosity have you ever tried uh fat bottom betty by deadwood tobacco I just tried it for the first time, and I really enjoy it. Uh, Fat Bottom Betty. Fat Bottom Betty by Deadwood Tobacco. Let's see. Ooh. Deadwood Fat Bottom Belly. Ah, all these pop-ups. I got hate web designers. Uh, I've never tried it before. <clears throat> but it looks good. I'll have to give it a chance. See if they've got I've got, they've got them at my local uh, cigar shop. 
Julian C says, Ox, so good to see you. Are you sure you're not some sort of time traveler on or, or an immortal? I mean, that photo they found looks exactly like you. Play on, sir. Yeah. So, uh, Bon Clay on um, Twitter found managed to find a photograph of some guy from like the, you know, 18th century uh, playing with a dog who looked exactly like me. I mean, beard and everything. And he tweeted it at me. Apparently, he found it on the Oxhorn subreddit first. Somebody had posted it there. And uh, I retweeted it earlier today. I mean, it does look exactly like me. It's really eerie. And probably it probably looks like me because it's a profile shot. It's it's a shot of the side of my face kind of look, or my, I say my face, of his face kind of looking down at an angle. I'm sure that if you were to get a full-on frontal view of his face, he probably wouldn't look exactly like me. <clears throat> but this guy from the side, well, he looks exactly like me. No Name says, does the, does the next video have any busty crustaceans? Uh, I am sad to say that no, we have no busty crustaceans in the next video. But who knows? Maybe I should never say never. The winds may change, and out of the sea may jump busty crustaceans. Pavel Kolarski says, Hi, Oxhorn, I'm giving up advice, but I have more Planescape fun. Hey, Skull, you want the good news? You're going ball. Uh, Anna, a half-demon with a thick accent. <clears throat> right, well, uh, must be, must be one of those... Planescape references that I'd have to have played the game to have gotten, but thank you for that one, Pavel. And then uh, Montana Trucker became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Montana Trucker. Andrew says, have you zoomed out on the map yet? I'm curious what your reaction will be when you see how massive this game is compared to the tutorial island. I have zoomed out uh, on the map a little bit. I probably haven't uh, seen all of it, though, so we'll do that when we hop into the game. Uh, Gemma the Tea Lady says, sorry, can't stay. Love you all, and Ox, thanks for the ride. You're welcome. Uh, I, I I hope you'll come back later, Gemma. You're welcome for the ride. I hope that I hope that we get to see you again very soon. Michael says, Ox, it looks exactly like you. Yeah, it, it, it really does. It, it looks like me. I promise I'm not immortal. I'll just go on record as saying that now. Well, as far as I know... I haven't actually tried to die yet, but as far as I know, I'm not immortal. So, take it or leave it. Jocelyn on Facebook says, well, now I'm happy I gained a new ox horn badge on Facebook. Did you really? <laughs> I didn't even know they did that. That's so cool. Wow, Facebook is really uh, developing their live streaming platform. That's neat. Fanta says, hey, Ox, just a tip. Might be worth getting the XP booster if you haven't already, or you might struggle later on trying to meet quest level requirements. XP booster? Is that a, is that an item or a perk? Uh, is it a perk I should probably get early on in the game? All right, well, maybe we'll, we'll try that. All right, let's get back to the game. Tony J says it's because of time travel, not immortality. Uh, well, you know, I'm not... Uh, I don't have a, a telephone booth. I don't have a TARDIS. Uh, I've been working on time travel, to be honest, but I haven't made much progress. I mean, when I get to the point where I can travel in time, I'll let you know. Okay, let's zoom out on this map. Whoa. Is that it? Whoa, oh, oh, God. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I remember looking at this. Wow. It's 
It's the entire Mediterranean. All right, so there's Sparta. There's the Hellespont. Macedonia. Athens. There it is. There's Athens. Oh, yes, we get to explore Athens? I can't wait! Oh, man, I want to go to Athens! Wait. All right, hold on. Okay, so we're all the way over here. We came from Kefalonia. All right, let's go to quests here. What's our primary quest? We've got the Lost Tales of Greece. Well, that's level 35. Holy cow. We've got all of these. All right, so the only one hour level is a journey into war. As Cassandra neared Megaris, she was greeted by an almighty Athenian blockade preventing access to the port. Oh, I guess that hasn't happened yet. Thanks for the spoiler quest description. I guess I shouldn't even read these descriptions because this is my destination. <laughs> well, thank you for that one. Oh, what is hanging over there? No Name says Todd Howard has said we are all immortal and Todd Howard never lies. Maybe. Sometimes. Well, if he said it, it must be true. Fanta says XP booster in in game store, but you may have it. Oh, well, it sounds like a cheat. If it's something you can only get from the in-game store, is that not a cheat? And if so, I don't think I want to try that. I'd like to beat hard mode without cheating at least once. I could try. Jocelyn Ryan says, technically, you've traveled the long road through time for nearly four decades, Ox. Well, thanks for that reminder, Jocelyn Ryan. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Uh, what is it today? Tuesday? Wednesday. God, it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Being reminded of your own mortality. Journey to war. All right, let's uh, continue to track this one. We'll take the trireme over there. The gods are with us today, Cassandra. The sea is calm, and the winds are warm. It's beautiful. It is, my friend. It sure is. Oh, did you see that? A bounty disappeared. Because I haven't played in a week. Oh, we went over that last week. The bounty board has timed daily. Okay. Well, I'm going to ignore all of those then. Oh my god. 24 year old me would freak out if he saw this game. If it's not Spartans or Athenians, it's bandits and pirates. God's protect us all for mankind. Whoa! See that island? That is where I saw the beast. What was that? Pirate's Life Barnabas. But I, it, the, the game just told me that I, I missed the Pirate's Life. What? Oh. But the map says that a Pirate's Life is uh, level 8. And yet it's not appearing in my quest log. Pavel says, uh, it was not a reference, but actually a quote from Planescape Game. I hoped a funny one, but don't worry, I have a lot more of the pr them prepared for other times. Well, I'm so glad for that, Pavel. Thank you. Can't wait to hear those. 
Uh, alright, uh, well, let's try it. A Pirate's Life, level 8. Well, uh, yeah, all right. Master? Speed up! We can't, Commander! Or speed! Head for over water! Onward! After the rowers catch the threads! So! Commander! Rowers! Go! Increase speed! I don't think they can pull the oars any faster! <laughs> Slow! We'll wait for the commander's return! Jay Schmidt says replaying Odyssey my, right uh, beside you reminded me of how truly amazing this game is. Tons of exciting plot points and great character arcs. Was very eager to catch the stream. Happy Wednesday, Ox. Happy Wednesday, Jay Schmidt. Glad you made it back. Dragon Fan says avoid ships with black sails. They're pirates. Are they? Well, I'm glad they uh, let us know beforehand. Oh, God! Oh, thank <laughs> the gods you came. What happened? Where's the rest of your crew? Pirates! They killed most of us, but they took my brother. Please, you must help him. I'll help find your brother, sailor. I'm not a sailor, I'm a carpenter. So is my brother. Our father taught us. Interesting. Our ship could use a carpenter. I've worked as a shipwright. Cool. Repaired hulls with holes the size of Poseidon's feast. Please, save my brother. And I'll join your crew. Then it's a deal. Where can we find these pirates? There is an island uh, west of Viotia and south of Mount Helico. I hear the sail from there. Anything else that might help? I don't know. It happened so fast. Because of the war, there's more pirates about than ticks on a sow these days. But their camp can't be far. We'll find these pirates and rescue your brother. Okay. New quest, a pirate's life. There it is. Okay, so I didn't get it yet. It was just telling me that that's where a quest would be. Find and save the carpenter's brother. The carpenter who lost his brother to pirates agrees to join the crew and put his skills to use if Cassandra rescues his sibling. Let's do that first before we go through the Athenian blockade. That will send us... an island, he said. That's the daughter of Artemis. Oh, it's there. It's right next to the Athenian blockade. Crap. I might have to do both quests at the same time. I'll tell you what, let's explore the Isle of Thisbe. It looks pretty small, and we might find some good loot. Rodney says, uh, Uno Mass Curiosity 
Have you ever had a Rocky Patel vintage cigar? I bought one and I want to try it, but my mouth is still occupied with my Betty. Wow, lovely way to put that. Um, I have had Rocky Patel cigars. Rocky Patel is a newer brand though, isn't it? It's only been around since the 90s, I think. So, do they have vintage Rocky Patels? Or maybe I'm just aging myself. I guess the 90s was a while ago. <laughs> um, I have had Rocky Patels, but not old vintage Rocky Patels. But, you know, every Rocky Patel is different. Every brand is different. So, I, there have been some I've liked, some that, I, you know, have been okay. The Forgotten Isle. Ooh, wow, what's this? Oh, we've got a cave entrance. Loot the treasure. Three treasures. How do I pull up my torch? Uh, primary interaction, parry. I just gotta, I gotta learn this now. Torch, T, I tried that. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Got you. All right. Ah! Okay. Vladimir says to discover as many locations as possible. Fly Icarus as high as you can. Uh, S in space. Also, try diving from great heights. W in space. It's fun. Thank you, Vladimir. I may do that. You know, actually, I found... Well, I'll show you the world map when I can, but I think there was a, a vantage point nearby that we can access. The Adventurer says, Good day, Oxhorn. How are you enjoying your trip into mythology so far and having a really great time? Oh, Leap of Faith? Shall we Leap of Faith it? Yeah, it's water. Okay, so we came from there. Oh, there's a tunnel. All right, so we've got a tunnel underwater and an opening up there and an opening up there. All right, let's climb first. What? Why does she keep propelling herself off? I guess we can't climb the sides, huh? One treasure, silver bracers, and a lost key. All right, I guess I guess it doesn't want us to climb the sides. I guess we're supposed to believe that all of this uh, smooth stone is unclimbable. So let's dive down. Rodney says, it's a 1990 vintage, oldest one they have as far as I know, and the wording was intentional. Yes, I gathered that, Rodney, and um, 
cool. Well, uh, that sounds delicious. 1990. Well, that must be the, the oldest one they have. Uh, if uh, Rocky Patel wasn't even a brand until the 90s, I hope you really enjoy it. of this world. Hmm. Uh oh! Oh, okay. What was that? What in Hades was that? Doesn't look like I'll find out through this door just yet. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. <laughs> uh, you mean I can't fit through that little tiny crack? All right, so it looks like an offering is made before this door, whatever is in that door. Amazingly, I can see really well. Oh, wow. Because there's sunlight. Well, let's go towards the sunlight. Well, I only got one of the th three treasures. No name says, I keep seeing a bottle of 18-year-old Glenfiddich at the grocery store. I want it, but I don't spend, uh, to spend $100 on it. It's an ongoing struggle. Uh, well, my, my advice would be, don't buy it unless you already know that you like it. Because scotch is an intense beverage for many palates. And not everyone likes it. And so a $100 bottle of scotch, while delicious and smooth, the older a scotch is, the smoother it will be. Um, maybe appreciated by some, it wouldn't be appreciated by others. So, tell you what, what if you found a scotch tasting, a local scotch tasting, and you tried it? Tried a sample to see whether or not you like it first. All right, let's go back, see if we can find a way to get the rest of the treasure chests. I'm just uh, having fun exploring this tiny island. Wow. Great opportunity to get tons of olive wood for arrow crafting. All right, let's try this again. So this was supposed to be my diving point.
Okay, so I gotta figure out what surfaces I can climb. Not that. Uh, the adventurer says, uh, speaking of scotch, I've always wondered how you can drink and smoke and not get demonetized. Uh, well, because neither of these activities are illegal, and I have a mature stream, like my, my game, my stream is designed for adults. Vladimir says, Icarus in the sixth sense or your long and short range vision, use Icarus approaching a location. It's a core mechanic, ignoring it is like ignoring weapons. Thank you, Vladimir. Ace of Augusta says, hey, this island is part of a late game quest. I don't think you can get the rest of the chests yet. Okay. Then I won't worry about it. Well, I mean, I hate the feeling of being punished for exploring. If if all of these, uh, if so many of these places are locked until I get the quest that takes me there, then I'm just gonna go from, uh, I'm just gonna go from quest to quest and stop exploring on my own. There's the other one. Fast travel. What was that? Oh. Okay. All right, so what? The the floor is back. Um, okay, and we got we got one of the treasures. The floor is back, apparently. All right, let's see if we can get the other one. Oh, it must just be a glitch. She acts as if the hole is still there. All right, must be a visual glitch since we fast traveled. All right, well... 
Yeah. See? Look at that. Okay, let's get the next one. It's over there. Now, how are we going to get over there? Oh my gosh! It's a cave behind the waterfall! Here I am trying to climb it. And it's just a cave behind the waterfall. Ah, come on. Alright, we got it. Rodney says, I have uh, some scotch when I found bourbons I like as well. $25 for a comparable quality and easier to find. 15-year-old Glenfiddich will always be bay though. Yeah, Glenfiddich is hard to beat. Vladimir says white arcs around screen centers in Icaro's sight point you to where to look. Look there and make the circle as tight as possible, revealing loot and enemies. Thank you, Vladimir. Mastered that. Dragonfan says it's a glitch in the animus, not the game. All right, we'll go with that. All right, let's get out of here. We need to go get the pirate. And the Athenian blockade. Now, interesting what that is, like I was able to fast travel there, a forgotten isle, fa it, but it's not, it's not one of these points. That's what I saw earlier, there's a point here that I could get, a fa I can un unlock fast travel there. But what is that? How can I fast travel there? Oh, looks like that's what I have to look forward to, a cyclops. Okay, well let's head down here to the pi uh, to do a pirate's life. And hopefully we won't trigger the battle with the Athenian blockade just yet. We can knock out a pirate's life and then do the Athenian blockade. Pirates took his brother. He'll work for us if we rescue him. Then let's hunt some pirates! Put your box into it, men! Roll like the Cerberus is snapping at your heels! Full power! Savage will die! Shall we pick it up? Oh, cool! I, I don't know if you heard it because everyone was shouting so much, but we passed by some flotsam and jetsam, just some floating wood, and we picked it up to get some olive wood. Let's move! Maximum speed! Going as fast as we can! Our oars can't keep this up, Commander! Commander's left the helm! <laughs> Alright, there's the Athenian blockade. 
first let's kill some pirates. All right, I'm gonna make some arrows. I think I'm out of arrows. There we go. Oh, I've got an ability point. Yeah. Ooh, an arrow that knocks out a target without killing. Shield breaker would be really useful. Oh, cool. Hold left shift. Oh, no. Hold shift and left click to charge. Release shift and left click when charged. Focus inner strength to unleash a powerful attack that varies depending on weapon type. Knocks enemies away or breaks their guard. Love it. Rush assassination. Launch the Spear of Leonidas at a distant enemy to deal 100% assassin damage up close. Can be chained one time. I mean, that's just really cool. Venom. Stun, stun enemies for six seconds. All right, so get out of a, an attack. Well, the Spear of Leonidas is really cool. And then that would be useful. Three arrows. Let's do Leonidas. Cool. I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. That didn't work so well. I thought it was standing in high brush. That was the problem. But even though it was high grass, it didn't register in the game as a stealth field. See? I was sitting in that brown grass, and it's just as tall as the rest of it. But because it's brown, it's not, um, it's not grass we can stealth in.
I got it! Alright, I'm gonna have to take them out silently <laughs> one by one. Dragon fan says, look around for a shipwreck called Poseidon's Fury. Alright, will do. Must be a slave. How about what was that? Get rid of these doggone poison arrow archers. Oh my god! All those poison blades! Alright, so I can't try to assassinate the big guy because I don't have enough power to kill him in the first attack. So I need to take out all the little guys with the poison arrows before I do anything else. They'll keep a sharp watch here.
Someone's here! One guy left. That guy, just a couple hits, managed to knock me out. I can do this. I just gotta... I don't know. I should try to stay out of sight. Oh, one hit is just like a third of my life. Oh, and that did it too. Why can't I zoom in? Gotcha, ya doggone stinking guy. Jeez. Get at least some of my arrows back. Uh, Filthy Soap says, Hey Oxhorn, it's Nate Johnson. I changed my name. I just wanted to say thanks for supporting me, but I asked about content creation. I got 800 views on my first vid. Love you. Salud. Drinking some Exotica. Congratulations, my friend. All right, we killed the captain. Let's find the treasure.
Hey, Athenian shoes. Cool. All right, well, let's free the brother. Uh... Okay, I guess we gotta pick him up. He's too weak to walk. Why do I have to take him over there? My ship's right there. Take him to safety, which is on the other side of the island? To a shipwreck? Okay. I guess I'll take him all the way over here instead of to my ship, which is right there. Your brother sent me. That fool. Always sending someone else to do his dirty work. How bad is it? Uh... Is that a lie option? Scales. So weighted scales. Why is that the icon for a lie? Because... You use cheating weights while measuring something? Well, I guess, I guess if that's a lie, yes, it says chat, that means lie, okay. If that's a lie, then it must mean that he is going to die. So I'll tell him the truth. The end is near. Never thought I'd die like this, stuck on some shit island. <laughs> I hate the sea. What message should I give your brother? Tell that fool of a brother I... I... Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Well, can we take his body back to his brother? His brother's right there. Can we take the body back with us? Careful. Don't want to be caught here. No, I drop it. Ooh, wait, what's that? Hello. Treasure? Treasure beneath me? Okay, hold on, before I go back... There's those two treasure chests that Icaros picked up. There's got to be a cave. An underwater cave... in the side of this tiny little island... where I can... swim in to get the treasure. Here we go. This looks promising. Huge, huge shelf here. Ooh, and a shipwreck down there. All right, I'm going to run out of breath. So let me just scan for a cave. All right, that's where they are, but the shipwreck is right there. Looks like I'm gonna have to dive deep to get them. Hey, loot the treasure, all right. Oh, no, no! Doggone freaking sharks!
Found the cave. Yes! Oh, how to get out of here now. Yeah! No! We gotta go out the way we came. Don't die. Gotta go out the way we came. I thought there was going to be an air bubble at the top of the chamber, but no. And we got a big shark waiting for us. Oh, ho, ho, nick of time. <laughs> oh, we got it. And there's the Athenian blockade. Soft leather. Well, we can't bring the body back to the brother. We fed the sharks, though. So let's go back to the trireme and uh, head on out. Of course there are giant whales doing that. It wouldn't be a beautiful Grecian game otherwise. Hey there, chappies. How are my boys from London doing? <laughs> Did you find my brother? Where is he? He didn't survive. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I curse you gods. There were no gods in that ship. Only pirates. I begged him to come on this trip. He hated the sea. Oh. A spear in my hand often helps me forget the pain. We'll put a hammer in yours if you honor your word. Of course. There is nothing left for me here. Pyro says that I looted a lion head for my ship. Ooh. Ship. Iron head. No figurehead. Yeah, does, is that what I found underground? The mighty lion figurehead helped inspire crews to acts of bravery in the face of an enemy. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Pyro. I would have missed that. All right, now I've got a new special lieutenant. I need to upgrade my hull to hire new lieutenants. Tecton. So, the carpenter is a lieutenant, and it's plus 3% to ship armor. That's 3% to arrow damage. And then these are the cheats, the ones that I got with the special, special encounter. How do I upgrade my ship hull? Uh, oh. Oh, I need wood. Oh, I need more wood. Way more wood. I need a ton of leather there. All right, so I need 130 wood to upgrade my ship hull even further. I've been spending it all on arrows. I've got the money, but it's the wood. I have a feeling I'm about to get in a big uh, ship-based fight as well. Quick save. Can I quick save? I'll do a hard save. All right, brother rescued, and then he subsequently died, but the pirates killed, islands looted, treasure boxes looted, Athenian blockade. That's next. Damage me! 
should pick up the Head target. Head for open water! Come on! Get your horns at the speed! Wait to see the activation! One down! Two down! No, 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 no. <laughs> They're excited! Yay! Yay! Hup hup hooray! Cheerio, boys! Let's go! Whoa! What? How did I get a bounty? How did I get a bounty? We need to let the roars rest! I got Athenians! He looked important. Any loot? Ah! Got a loot! Yeah! I want to recruit him! Come on, stop sinking, ship! I'm trying to recruit him! And he dies. Well, I got an option to recruit him, but uh, the ship sank. <laughs> the ship sank before I could recruit him. Wow. Well, and I missed all of that lore too. Uh. 
Um, Vladimir says killing the military openly and sinking their ships makes you want it. Oh. All right. Well, at least I got the chest. At least I, got, I guess I got a bounty now. Rachel says, I think you are wearing your waxed jacket in that photo on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? All right, talk to Nicholas. Uh, over there. All right, so let's... After destroying the blockade, Cassandra searches for her father. She was... Well, I'm not going to read ahead because they're going to give me spoilers. I'm not going to read ahead. We'll just go to the quest marker destination. All right, I've got a bunch of new stuff. Let's see. Um, I've currently got the javelin. Rough sword. 121 DPS goes way up. See to compare. Yeah, much better. All right, new bows, but nothing of note. Quest item, Brothers Riches. It's rather lucky the Pompous Brothers brought their riches to Kefalonia. Lucky for you, that is. And then the Talisman of Artemis. All right, that's a quest item. Oh. Yeah. So assassin or hunter damage. I'll do assassin because a one a one shot kill an assassin will help me stay stealthed. There's also that, but it's worse. All right, two, seven, twelve. Yeah. Have I not gotten any other hoods? I guess that's my best hood. My best hat. They all look like hoods. Right. I was tempted to visit all of those little question marks along the way, but... Whoa! Father dearest. Oh. oh, right in the windpipe. See, the Athenian dog Pericles 
fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, Pericles. surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! She walks up. There he is! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. What? Father? Well, I suppose they could have added their children. You can't be his son. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Wow. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. We could try to lie. I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> you cannot simply meet with Nikolaos. He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaos. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Selsor. If you're here to earn Drachmi, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. Mm. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I like the way this guy talks. He's very movement oriented. He moves his entire body just to make the slightest gesture. <laughs> I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. So I'm working with Sparta now. Okay. 
Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. Man, she's keeping it really cool for meeting her adoptive brother for the first time. I mean, if I had just, you know, sailed over to, uh, uh, to Spartan land and met the man that my father adopted after trying to kill me, I'd probably be a little bit emotional. But she's keeping cool. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. Mm. All right, on Facebook, Keeland says, Good afternoon, Ox. The game looks beautiful and fun. It's a gorgeous game, and I'm really enjoying the gameplay. Then Clayton on Facebook says, Hey, Ox, have you done the mercenary tier yet? Just curious. Uh, I don't know what that is, so probably not. Probably not. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. Good. A one-on-one -on -one private interview with Daddy Dearest. Conquering nations. To meet your father, Nicolas, help Stentor conquer Megaris. To do this, weaken Megaris's national power. Enough to trigger the conquest battle. Ooh. Oh, man. Nation states. This is great. All right. So apparently I've got like a... Uh, ooh. Nation power. The most effective way to lower the nation power is to kill the nation leader. He is always accessible, but well defended when nation power is high. To lower the nation power and weaken his defenses. One... Kill soldiers from the faction in power. Two, burn war supplies marked with a shield and crossed swords. Three, pillage the nation treasure marked with a chest. Oh, this is so cool. C could I assassinate him though? <laughs> like, could I skip all of this and just go straight to the leader? I mean, I'd be really tempted to try, but I'd be missing half the content doing it that way. Dealing with bounty. A sponsor has put a bounty on you because of your illegal actions, such as killing civilians or soldiers, stealing and sinking ships. But they were blocking my way. <laughs> to remove the bounty, use the pay all bounties action on the map. Pay each sponsor on the map. Kill the sponsor in the world or keep a low profile until it expires. All right, so these are the guys who put a bounty on me. Menelaos, bounty sponsor. Murder and sinking a ship. 103 bucks to pay the bounty. I've got the money, but eh. All right, looks like I got a new inventory item, and it's a quest item. The Stenter's Seal. This prestigious seal bestowed by Stenter proves that its owner is a trusted agent of the Spartan army. Well, he trusted me really quickly. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. What else is new? I've got a bunch of new quests here. Okay, all of them my level. Crumble and burn, Cassandra knew that an army without supplies would quickly fall, and the chance of meeting the wolf would be just within her grasp. Destroy the Athenian supplies in Megaris, Zero of four. War supplies can be found in forts and leader houses. Fire can be used to destroy them and lower the nation's power. 
Kelly on uh, YouTube says you can break down your unused gear for crafting components. Awesome. I'll do so. Thank you. Then there's One Man Army. If Cassandra wanted to meet the wolf, she would have to help the Spartans conquer Megaris. And Megaris would be easier to conquer if there were fewer Athenian soldiers. Kill Athenian soldiers in Megaris, 0 of 20. Killing captains and pull marks has a greater impact on lowering nation power. And finally, the Athenian treasure trove. The Athenian army's morale would crumble if the treasure used to pay the soldiers was stolen, and Sparta would be one step closer to victory over the region. Find and steal the Athenian national treasure. Each region, including Megaris, has a nation treasure. treasure. The Megaris treasure is in the northern part of Mount Gerenia. It's inside Fort Gerenia. All right. One thing at a time. This appears to be the closest one. Let's track it. Alright, so we've got a minor quest. Portion control on our way to crumble and burn. And look at that. Like Kratos, the sin... The centaur's servant, representative of Megaris, is here. Looks like if I assassinate him, my job is done. But he's protected in this fortified city. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I need to go over there. And along the way, there's that. Let's find it. All right, breakdown gear, says the chat. I can't break that down. I can't break down epic stuff, I guess. A rare sword. I can break down that. All right, so I guess I can only... Oh, wait, no, I can break down this. Why couldn't I break down that? I can't break down swords, but I can break down blunts. Well, no, I can't break down that blunt. Okay, I'm all sorts of confused now. Some weapons I can break down, some weapons I can't. All right, I got a ton of olive wood out of that. Can't break it down, can't break it down, but I can. You can't break down DLC slash added bonus items, says Jeff K. Oh, gotcha. All right. Vladimir says, horse tip, press X and don't release it. It almost always works, even while you're running forward. Oh, almost always works doing what? While I'm mounted, press X or... Ka uh... Kakashi says you can't dismantle the free weapons you got from the DLC. All right. Well, that explains it. Thank you, chat. I can dismantle that. I can dismantle that, but I want to wear it. I'm almost level 9. Oh, that's new. Assassin damage. 
but it's exactly the same. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> it looks weird. I think I'll keep that one. I can dismantle that, a mercenary breastplate. Right. Save that for now. They've got dismantle and equip set hotkeyed to the same mouse button. I can foresee that being a bit of a problem in the future. Save that for later. You can change the appearance of things now, Ox, says Fanta. Okay. Um, how do I... Well, I'll worry about that later. Bride the Guy says, On the subject of gear, don't level up your gear at blacksmiths until you get to max level. It gets more expensive the more you do it on the same gear. That's a great tip. It's something that I was thinking about, uh, which is why I haven't visited a blacksmith yet. Uh, but that's a great tip. Thank you. Jared says, go deep into the waters and look for a treasure. It's a new, cre a new crew outfit. By the way, sorry I'm late. No worries, Jared. I was late, so uh, you're right on time. Deep into the waters and look for a treasure. It's a new crew outfit. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Ah! <laughs> 
got a mercenary! Parapress the Iron Heart. In his first major battle, Parapress the Iron Heart was struck close to the, the heart by the iron tip of an arrow. Miraculously, he survived, though a chip of iron remained close to his heart. All right. Well, done. <laughs> got him. Fantas is right. Mouse click on the item on base equipment menu to change appearance. Okay. Oh. Oh, so cool. I love that. Oh, man. Whoa! That's pretty cool. I mean, that actually looks pretty nice. I got a golden spear! New mercenary discovered. Italios the Zealot. Italios the Zealot didn't worship the gods, he obsessed over them. And those he deemed unworthy of the gods soon found themselves at the end of his blade. Well. So he's coming for me now. Great! Some mercenaries carry information on their peers. Retrieving these documents will reveal their identity. Awesome. Um, all right, so I got a bunch of new gear, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> let's see, I got a new sword, didn't... Yeah, spear, level 7 spear. Oh, the damage goes down, but it is an epic spear. Damage goes down by 15 points, though. But I gain adrenaline. Damage to Athenian soldiers and assassin damage. But the one I have already has damage to Athenian soldiers and a 5% warrior bonus. Well, I'll keep the one I've got. My rough sword. Okay. Man, that guy came out of nowhere. I hear a tinkly. All right, so... Jared says there's something... F there's an outfit in the water? Deep in the water. That's not a lot to go on, though, so. I'll skip that for now. New location discovered Paggy. Pagai. Oh, okay, so we've got a quest over here the missing map.
Holy cow, that's a lot to do. Rockland F says, it's an open world adventure, so you should probably head straight to a Thassos countryside and pick a fight with a level 40 chicken. That sounds like something I should do. All right, well, it looks like there's a lot of quests here, but none of which are my quest objective. I want to come back and do all of these, but I'm really curious as to what it looks like to destroy the war supplies. So let me go there first. I can always come back here. Right? <laughs> Let's see if we can get through here. Do we have to sneak in through a, a castle? Well, I'm going to do a hard save here before I go exploring. Alright, hold X. Onward. Oh, it automatically has me mount. That's Let's great. Go. All right, so I'm going to track, instead of this one, I'm going to track this one. Tentor scouts. Looks like he's run into some problems. What can I do to help you, buddy? I'll gut every last Athenian responsible for this. Fucking cowards. Once they're dead, Stentor will know I'm worthy of fighting by his side. What happened here? What business is it of yours, Mistios? Do you know anything about this? I'm a professional. And a friend. But what's that supposed to mean? If it had been me, I'd have been smart enough to try and hide the evidence. <laughs> Fair point. Whoever did this was brazen and foolish, leaving it to be so easily discovered. Or they wanted to send a message. Stentor sent me. I'm here to help wherever I can. Stentor sent you? Sparta doesn't fully control Megaris yet. It's easier for me to move freely in certain areas of Megaris than a Spartan. The Athenians have proven more resilient here than expected. But they will Before not stand. Before Sparta, yes. I've heard the speeches. But until that glorious day comes, we should find out what happened here. Do you have any ideas? Not yet. But I will. I should get a closer look to figure out what happened here. Okay, looks like we're doing uh, this quest now. Time to use my Witcher senses. These were professional soldiers. Slaughtered to a man. I don't think bandits could have done this. Loot. Oh, yeah. A lion fang. The supplies are missing. They can't have gone far, though. They didn't use the carts. Looks like they went this way, into the forest. Don't think I'll find anything else. I should report back. Well, so far it's starting to sound like it wasn't human. Perhaps it was a beast of some sort? Oh, go! I forgot. I need to check every goat butt that I see. All right, later. So, was it the Athenians? I found some fragments of a green crystal. Bandits, then. The mountains here are riddled with caves, and the war has made them brazen. Hmm. Let's see what her gut says. Nothing about this adds up. In what way? There's no bodies. At least not any assailants. Athenians would have taken the carts and their dead. But bandits would have left their fallen in the dust. But then who did it? A monster! I'm not sure. Whoever did this went into the forest. So I'll start by looking there.
You were close to your target, call Icarus. The attack happened on the main road of Megaris. The crystal comes from the south of the occupied forest of Tripodiscos, and the food is gathered in a cave southwest of the tomb of Tyrius. South of Tripodiscos, southwest of the tomb of Tyrius. They are. It was easy. How do we get in? A cave. Hmm. Maybe it is bandits. Do I tear up this entire city? That would be fun. <laughs> Just kill everybody. Well, we just marked a whole lot, didn't we? on wolves in every freaking game I play. Jeez. All right, buddy. I know where to go. Goats. What's in your butt? Nothing. Soft leather. No, nope. nothing in his butt. Got a treasure. Die, goat! Man, just soft leather up his butt. Where's the freaking Cyclops eye? I want it. All right, well, I looted this uh, grave. Oh, there's some green crystal. Well, I leveled up, so let's put on my other gear. I believe I had some better, yeah. I lose out on my elemental buildup and my assassin damage, but I gain warrior damage and increased armor protection. I, I guess I should take it. There we go. Much better. It look like crap, though. <laughs> Where's the cool ones that I had? There we go.
Rockland F says the Cyclops' obsidian eye is only in a goat butt on the Kefalonian Island, unless you're just joking around with us. Ha ha. <laughs> I like how you added that ha ha just to make sure that you thought my joke was funny if I truly was joking. All right, well, then I won't murder goats. Food being cooked near here. Here we go. Let's do a hard save. Is this a private gathering? Or can anyone join? What? What are you? Please? Please just leave. So I followed a trail that started with slaughtered Spartans and stolen goods, and ends with you. And the supplies, all hiding quietly in a cave. Ooh. We just took the food. We didn't hurt anyone. No more talking. Let's massacre them all. Uh, well, let's have them explain themselves first. You'd better tell me why I shouldn't just kill you and return the goods. Please. I'll tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> You're the sorriest band of thieves I've ever seen. By the gods, no! We're citizens of Megara! Please, show mercy! This war has already cost us dearly. Like the mercy you showed those Spartan soldiers? I... We... We just took some food. Irkanos told us to take it. Said he'd make it easy for us. Irkanos? Yes, the mercenary. He said he'd provide food. Told us the Athenians would never let their people go hungry. Explain yourselves. It's not wise to anger the Spartans. Please, we're not thieves. This is our food, our crops. They took it, left us with nothing. Our children are starving. Ah, so you repay theft with murder. A fine lesson for your children. Murder? No! Please, we never harmed anyone. Uh, Mistyos told us where to find the food. Everyone was already dead. Enough! I didn't come here for a debate. It's too late for talk now. I came to find who's behind this crime against Sparta. Well, sounds like the Mystios is to blame, so I should hunt down this mercenary and kill him. I mean, the guy did kill a bunch of Spartan soldiers to give food to poor peasants whom the Spartans robbed. Stand aside. You don't need to die today. I'm returning the supplies to the Spartans. Then you will do so over our dead bodies. Don't be stupid. Take some of the food, enough to get by. I'll say I killed you and claimed what was left. They will be satisfied. But the food! What of our families? Your families will not benefit from your death. Accept my offer and don't steal again. It won't be me who comes for you next time. Yes. <laughs> the Mysterious. kid walks in the frame. Thank you. <laughs> Harry, take what you can carry and go. Quick. All right, then the child walks in the frame. Okay, well, a better option than just massacring all of these poor people. They're not responsible for the war. Wars are... Hey, well, I can help myself to what they leave behind. Why not? <laughs> she is limber. All right. Uh, 
Grave of Tercius, loot treasure, check. Your drachmai is your life. Is that a timed quest? Is that why it's got a timed symbol on it? Well, let's go turn this in and then try to get back to our primary objective, what we were doing. There are Thank a lot of- Thank the gods they didn't try to fight. I wasn't in the mood to kill starving civilians today. Adoni the Mirage! Jeez! All these freaking mercenaries! Who was this guy? Adoni the Mirage was known to disappear the moment she was almost caught. Some believed she didn't exist at all. They were wrong, of course, as there is proof she did indeed exist, but she did her uh, did hide her existence quite well. Well, I'm going through all sorts of tier 9 assassins. Adoni the Mirage came for me. Herpheus the Ironheart came for me. Gosh, that leaves two more in this tier that might come for me as long as I keep my bounty level high. Ceremonial Axe. What is this now? Oh, but it's worse. Way worse. Looks like I leveled up. You know, this, I, I'm disappointed by this. I, I guess I can only use it as an assassin and uh, I haven't really found an opportunity. I should probably get my health ability. Did you find the ones responsible? I found your supplies with a bunch of hungry Megarians. And? You stole that food from them. They were starving. The supplies were essential for the war and ridding Megara of the Athenians. Hungry Megarians are the least of your worries. But there's something else. Have you heard of a mercenary called Irkanos? Irkanos? Yes, he's working for the Athenians. So the rumors go. This is all his doing. These mercenaries are persistent. I'll give them that. You've done well here. But if you really want to help Sparta, I have a task for you. What did you have in mind? Hunt him down. Show him that no mercenary dog will interfere with Sparta's plans. Mm. Since you have such a high opinion of mercenaries, why even send me? I'm sorry. 
It's just this man Irkanos is like a thorn in our foot. He's a menace to all Spartans here. Please, will you help us? I'll do it. If he's this much trouble, I take it there's a sizable reward. Of course. Just think of how much he'll have on him with all the drachmi Athens has given him to thwart our plans. And? I suppose you're right. Any idea where to start looking? He could be anywhere. Most likely, he's nestled up close to the Athenians. We've sent out a couple of patrols, but they never returned. And we can't spare any more men at this time. Sometimes you're better sending a woman anyway. Hey, I got an Athenian helmet. It's better. By a lot. Holy cow, is it better. Oh. Looks interesting. <laughs> it looks interesting, but... I like, uh... New mercenary discovered! Who's this guy? Herkonos the Cunning! Man, I think this is probably my favorite aspect of the gameplay. These mercenaries that just start hunting me and I get to learn about them. It's great. Herkonos was a mercenary working for Athens with a mission to sabotage Spartan efforts in Megaris. He was a master at manipulating others to do his bidding so he could remain elusive. Matt Rowland says Rush Assassinate is a stealth skill, but very powerful. It chains only once at this rank. Be strategic. It doesn't work once you engage in combat. Yes, thank you, Matt. I'll try to use it next time I'm doing an assassination. So that's the third mercenary on this tier. And then this guy is over here. He's probably going to come for me next. I love it. All right. Let's see. Well, it's not showing me where he is on the map, of course. So that's the guy I need to assassinate. And those are the supplies. Oh, but there's this. Dolios located Hyrkanos, a dangerous mercenary who is disrupting the Spartan advance in the region. He asked Cassandra to deal with the menace before he could do any more damage. The mercenary menu can be opened to mark him and hunt him down. Oh, I didn't know we could mark him. Mark! Oh. Well, where is he? Over there! So he's quite a ways away. There he is. Deep in Athenian land by the valley of King Lelex. Level 9. Takes more damage from fire. Takes less damage from ranged attacks. Kelly became a bronze ox. Thank you, Kelly. No, that's taking me back. Why is that taking me? I don't want to go back. So this wall is barricading this entire section. If I just waltz up, they're all going to attack, aren't they? Let's see what happens if I just waltz up. So this is what war looks like. Not what the stories make it out to be. The capital, Megara. If 
the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. Off we go now. Right. So those are some Athenians I can kill, right? That's the leader. Could I do it at this level? Hyrax the Bloodthirsty! That's the next one on this tier. Hyrax the Bloodthirsty takes more damage from fire, takes less damage from poison. At a young age, Hyrax the Bloodthirsty garnered attention with his village in Tyr Tyros from maiming and killing small animals in obscene numbers. As he grew older, he moved on to larger, more fearsome targets. His thirst for blood was said to never be satisfied. Oh, that, that guy's on a completely different tier. He's on the next tier up. So I got to distinguish the soldiers from the peasants. I don't want to hurt any peasants. There's Hyrax. On his horse. Level 11, I want to avoid him. That's not the guy I want. I want Hyrkanos. Here, Kanos is over there. That's the guy I want. And then the guy I'm supposed to assassinate is over here. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Rockland with a tip. Thank you, Rockland. Vladimir says, Ox, visit the underground tomb near that cave soon. Underground tomb? Cave? Mm. All right, uh... After I finish up things here, I'll try to do that, okay? Underground tomb near the cave. What, the cave that I already explored? Oh, this? Is that the underground tomb? All right, let's take a look at this mercenary guy. There he is. Looks like he's all by himself over here. Level nine, I could probably take him. If I can get up here undetected. So maybe my strategy would be to scale this mountain, come down from on top of it, and get him from behind. Off we go now.
Okay, are they all hostile to me? Militarized Temple of Megara. This must be Irkanos' camp. These are Athenian soldiers I'm killing, right? Yeah. Negative 10 to nation power. I'll kill the guy, but I won't steal. That would be bad. Where'd the mercenary go? He was right here, wasn't he? Oh, there he is. He's by the temple now. Crap. He was over there a minute ago. So that's what the ability does. Cool. He's going around. One guy left. Should I try an assassination thing on him? See if I can get up behind him. Ugh! <laughs> 
Yikes! I killed him with a fall. <laughs> Herkonos was a mercenary working for Athens with the mission of sabotage Spartans. Oh, I already read that one. And he's dead. Minus 100 nation power. Yes. Oh, but how do I loot the body now? I kicked him off. How am I going to loot the body? Crap. Yeah, I stole it, but doggone it, it was treasure! Okay, let's do a hard save. I can't. How am I gonna go loot the body? You guys didn't see that, right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Totally didn't see that. <laughs> okay, the body's over there. Maybe I can get it. Can I climb down this? Oh, hey guys. Sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Yeah. Cool. Hi, uh, Herkenos' dagger. That is, uh, significantly better than my rough sword. And I got a new bow. Ornate bow. But level 11. All right, so is this the tomb you guys were telling me to go check out? <sighs> Kakashi says the NPCs are only aggro when the compass is red at the top of the screen. Yellow means you're entering a hostile zone. No color means it's safe. Oh. Is this a hostile zone? I guess not. Oh, well, I killed some Athenians. Find the ancient still. Find the ancient Stel, Stele. It's over there. Okay, so is there like a secret room in here or something?
Okay, that's putting me outside the city. Break the wall, says the chat. Oh. Smash the broken wall. Was there a broken wall? Rockland says Cassandra can't die from fall damage, but she can lose health. One of a handful of reasons this is technically not entirely a Witcher clone. Okay. Can I smash this wall? I didn't know you could smash walls! Cool. Oh my goodness, what is this? Holy cow! Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Great. So this place was all boarded up. Presumably the residents of the town haven't been here in a very long time. I can't set that on fire, can I? Snakes. All right, what's this? Is it like a, a place of power from The Witcher 3? What did that do? Plus one to ability? Points. Hey. Oh, cool. Sweet. Okay. Uh, well, I've unlocked quite a few abilities. Let's start working on my passive things. Although, I don't have very many ranged abilities. But I'm doing a lot of melee combat. Shield Breaker would be really useful. The problem is that I'm running out of spaces on my menu from melee. I've already got all my four melee stuff unlocked. We'll try that out. Stinking snake. The head hook. Whoa. Epic. 
epic sword. 6% assassin damage, 2% warrior damage, 5% crit damage. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's keep an eye out for any more snakes. Ah! I can kill him with my torch. Awesome. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> That's great. Give me all the loot. Give me all the money. Snakes. Is that a hand? Oh. <sighs> Creepy statue. Yeah, burn, snake! Burn! Oh, I love it. Well, now how do I get out of here? That's all blocked off to me. I guess I gotta go back the way I came. No! This does put me back to where I was. Cool. Check, check, check. Well, I'm having such great success in this little town. Maybe I should just go for the main guy. <laughs> should I just kill the main guy? Let's do a save here. Oh. Yeah. Alright, so I use T with my torch to destroy war supplies. Got it.
Oh, yes. Come find out. Guess this was just a guard's barracks. I won't steal the rest because that would be wrong, but I'll just loot all of their war supplies. Oop. Well, I might steal this chest. You know, needs must. Alright, so this is done, right? We stole. And that's... Oh, it's burn war supplies. What? They're going back to the guard barracks? I'm glad I hid the bodies when I did. I'm presuming these are all new guys and that they're not respawning, right? Getting through it. Lots of guys up there, though. Let's focus on those war supplies. Okay, so that's where I got the first one.
All right, so above me, we've got five guys. <laughs> That'll be tricky. I mean, maybe I should come back. I can chain it, though. Just got to go for it. Level 10, though. Let's try it. Stay clear of the fight! Whoops! I was being ambitious. See where it puts me. Doggone it! All right, I gotta reduce the number of people in there. I'm gonna burn the supplies when I go to assassinate him. But that, or no, that. Is what I can do now. The treasure trove. Let's go get the treasure trove, then come back to burn the war supplies and kill the guy. be on high alert here. Oh! 
I was trying to help! Okay, so, treasure's in there, loot the treasure, then we go burn supplies. Vladimir says, lower nation power and guards leave him. Also, torch is a weapon. Hit crates, snakes, and people with it. Flesh is extremely flammable in the Assassin's Creed universe. <laughs> Thank you, Vladimir. So I did this out of order. I should have done the treasure first. Let's get it. Ooh, what does that bonfire do? There's more of the treasure. There's the next one. Whoa, what is that? Do I gotta go over there and do that too? Yeah, it looks so. Okay, guards on the walls. Port of Nicaea. If I'm going to find Athenian supplies, this will be the place.
All right, I killed the Polamark. Just in time for this guard to walk by. Man, I just got lucky. Probably just a bird, but I'll check. Oh. oh, what now? I can hear you. You. Ooh. A body, a pile of bodies here. They can all come to me. This is great, saving me the work. <laughs> all right. Those blue supply crates with the white owl are the ones I need to destroy. A single fire arrow should do the trick. Destroy war supplies. Well, how do we do a fire arrow? I don't think I have a fire arrow. The buzzards are going to give me away in a bit, aren't they? I think they heard me, but they didn't see me. <laughs> Gotta put him in my corpse pile. These bodies on the rooftop are getting dangerous. They're alerting nearby enemies. So I'll drop them in the bushes.
Neat and tidy. Everything in its place. Oh, that's brilliant. Rockland F says, just exit the area if you want to quick save. Thank you, Rockland. I may do just that. Buzzards. No, the buzzards are going to give me away. Loot. Jessica Sharp says, I think those guys are bushed. They're just tuckered all out, aren't they? They're a bit bushed. One at a time, methodically. That's how we do things. Don't worry, guys. I'll free you when I'm done. All right, so can I quick save if I just walk out here real quick? <laughs> save all that progress so I don't have to do it again. Tell you what, new cigar. I'm gonna kill them all. I'm just gonna kill them all. Chris M says that bonfire you saw is a signal fire. You can disable it just in case you're spotted. Awesome, thank you.
crap. Gotta get that body before someone finds it. All right, if I get all the guys patrolling the walls, they probably won't come back up here. So I'm not gonna worry about it. This would be perfect. Can I do it from here? Yes! Oh, man. I love it. That was, they just set that up for me. It was so perfect. How did he not see me? Got him. Heck yeah. Is that the last guy? Think that might be the last guy. All right, so I should probably release the prisoners and loot first before I start setting things on fire. Just make sure.
No, there's a guy over there. On the wall. Ah! 49? It says level 49? What? Quintilius with a sticker, thank you. He's level 49. Iris the Translucent. When offered enough wine, Iris the Translucent would recount the tale of meeting Medusa. She immediately fled, though not before stealing a circlet as a trophy. She insisted it turned her invisible when worn, which of course no one saw. Oh god. The unknown planet with a tip and Quintius with a tip. Thank you. Well, I think I'll just uh, keep my distance. Luckily, she's going the wrong way. All right, let's kill this last guy and then free the prisoners. Then there is this camp over here that I need to know more about. That's it. Yes! All right, prisoners, get out of here while you can. I'm gonna burn the place down. Out of here, guys. The place should be clear. All right. That's all of our optional objectives. We've got a few more chests. They're just running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Come on, guys. Get out of here. I saved you. Right, let's burn. Boom. We are messing up this nation power.
There's no trash. Oh, doggone it, it's in the house. One more. Well, uh, okay. I set a trap. Well, next time I'm gonna have to set the trap first. <laughs> Cause I wanna see what that does. Uh oh, did I accidentally kill all the piggies? No, they're still alive. All right, the next one is on the top of this building. Bingo! Yeah! Quest complete! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <sighs> Location complete, Port of Nisea. Feeling good. Right, well you Spartans, uh, just, uh, hang tight, I guess. Gotta get my drag me. So that should make it much easier to take out what's his name? How am I doing on time? Oh. I got 30 minutes. Is that enough time to go back? Now there is that, but that's for a different quest. This isn't even my horse, is it? Oh. Oh, what? Oh, what? They moved him into a hiding spot. What? What the heck? Someone trying to get my attention. Okay, so it looks like I need to burn the rest of the stuff inside before I can take him out because he still has his guard. The treasury chest is in the uh, chest is in the other castle. Yeah. All right. So, so for his guard to disappear, I've got to get rid of everything inside. Yeah, he's no longer in the leader house.
Mercenary, what a time for it! Come on! Jeez! The mercenary gets me right after I finish assassinating the guy. Let's try this again. Hopefully I don't get unlucky with the stinking mercenary. Lure the Purr says, love your videos, Ox. Watch Fallout stuff every night and just recently started watching old streams and catching new ones. Will you consider playing The Last of Us 1 and 2 one day? Maybe. Now I want that mercenary to come back. He's coming for me. There he is. Is that him? It's a different one. Bracey's Boiler of Blood. From a family of wealthy traders in Knossos, Bracey's Boiler of Blood sailed in triremes and conquered the captains on them her entire life. Takes more damage from melee attacks, takes less damage from assassinations. Can't do all of them. Let's dance, here, what the heck is that?
two of those stinking guys. How did I get two of them? How did two freaking mercenaries track me down? I can take one, but two? <laughs> Freaking two pounties! Jeez! What are they, a team? Are they helping each other? Why don't they attack each other? They're both mercenaries, right? You don't have bounties anymore. How do I not have bounties anymore? Because they couldn't find me? All right, well, I don't have time to play with these mercenaries right now. I'll play with them later. I mean, even though I don't have bounties, they're still coming after me. Let's go burn the stuff in here while we can. I'm telling you, everyone's talking about it. The commander has never lost. Oh. Oh. They say it doesn't matter if he's leaving or not. New mercenary discovered! Level 30, Oculos the Successor. The story of Oculos is one steeped in uncertainties. The common thread is that when he came upon the body of a dead mercenary, Oculos, an outcast, began his new life. He looted the man's armor, sheathed his sword in his own belt, and started anew. He fought in honor of the nameless mercenary who birthed his new identity. And that's him! Yeah! Bounty on a mercenary, level 30. Yeah! How about no? Jeez! What the heck is with this game, man? All these freaking mercenaries. Okay. I need to get... Well, there's a quest here, but I'm too low for it. I can get a vantage point from the Temple of Apollo, and let's get to the leader's house.
Hey, Fisher. Let's hope no one notices me here. Huh? There's someone here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Rowland says Ox Mercs are only after you if their helmet icon is red. Gray, white, you are safe. They won't attack unless you attack first. I see. Find the Anigmata Ostraka. An unusual request came to eliminate some records. I didn't want any trouble, so I took a small journey west to Mount Graniria. Take a dive in the center of the bay and find them on a shelf in a sunken ruin. Why did that guy pick up a sword and attack me? I guess he doesn't approve of murder. Well, now I've got a bounty because I killed that civilian. Okaleos, the lucky drunk. Okaleos loved two things in life, to drink and a fight. He was never noted as a particularly talented warrior, but somehow always came out victorious. Many have said the fates blessed him. Others say it was something else. There's the mercenary. Well, that didn't help. Look there. Are they dead? You won't get away that easily. Parabox on the 
Hi everybody! Sorry, I just about to kill this guy. Don't say anything, okay? He <laughs> died when I killed him! Confirm kill! Mercenary defeated! He's done! Burn war supplies. One of three done. All right, so I've got one treasure and one war supply to get. Did I loot it? Right, one more war supply and one more chest. Where was the other war supply? I got it in my last... There it is. One more treasure. Don't mind me. Just running through. Is that the treasure? I mean, I don't want to steal it out in the open. They'll attack me. Is that it? That's it. Wait, that's not the treasure. Okay, so it must have been inside the house. Ox, you left the leader house. Ah, it was inside the leader house, right. One more treasure in the leader house.
Good. Well, that means I won't have to steal to get it. Vigilant here. Oh. There we go. Bingo. Location complete. Leader house. All right. Now, let's see. We picked up this thing. Record sunshine. I took a small journey west to Mount Gerania. Take a dive in the center of the bay and find them on the shelf in the sunken ruin. There. Well, I'll be going over there anyway. What's this? Bounty, bounty on a mercenary. Okay, so that's a bounty I could get, but it's a timed... Looks like it's a daily quest or something. Outlaws of the Marsh. Is that a timed quest? What's that icon mean? I don't even know. King of Persia. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Oh, I've only got three minutes left. Let's go back. that guy well, I'm going to avoid him for now let's go Stream says you've only been playing for 3 hours 40 minutes. Yeah, but I have a hard 4:30 uh, break. The mercenary Irkanos is dead. Sparta thanks you, Mistios. What about my reward? We never entered into a contract. This is something you did yourself. But be assured, Sparta is grateful. Great. All right.
All right, so I've got a hard 4.30 stop. I'm going to head on out now. A little bit shorter than I usually do, but thank you all for coming. We got pretty far uh, towards uh, helping out Sparta here. We completely wiped out one of Athena's big power holds. Let's see how that quest, how that story resolves itself later on. But for now... Uh, but for now, I gotta go, so you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I'm gonna get, uh, get to work on my next lore video. I'm well on my way through it. I should have it done for the weekend. Once we finish this ta uh, tactics lore video, we'll be moving on to my next series, and I hope you're looking forward to that. For tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings will continue with Amnesia Rebirth, and then for Friday, we'll pick up with Days Gone. Lots of fun stuff left to come. So, have a great day, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.